Hey, good day, friends. It's uh, Lance Klessig here on a really nice uh, mid-January day, uh, 2021. And just wanted to bring you an update from a field down here, Southeast Minnesota. So let's take a look at the cover crop. So uh, as you can tell, it is a pretty vibrant green. Um, you know, we've had uh, we have some snow cover left, but it's been warm. It's about 40 degrees again today. Um, but this is a, a triticale cover crop. Let me see if I can, I can show you some of it close up. Um, so, yeah, things are looking really good, I would say, for it. Um, this field was uh, corn for silage this past year. Hit with a little bit of tillage, a light tillage. Uh, and then immediately drilled with triticale. Uh, I believe uh, Rob and his brother usually drill around uh, 100 pounds of the acre. Um, and then this will be taken off for forage, uh, triticaleage you might call it. Um, and then typically these guys will uh, plant soybeans, no-till plant soybeans right back into it. So they will be getting, um, you know, three crops in um, a two years, you know, period of two years, which is, which is really awesome. And the triticale makes some excellent feed for them. And uh, there's also lots of benefits. You know, this, this cover crop out here, um, you know, these friends right here are really instrumental in healing our soil. And, um, you know, not only providing protection, armor, uh, insulation, uh, but they're, you know, they're guarding against wind erosion, water erosion. Um, this field is gonna be just beautiful green uh, come you know March and April and into May I mean it will be just tremendous and so again we're collecting solar energy we're pumping carbon uh, into the soil through you know the roots and the root exudates exudates uh, we're also conditioning this soil uh, we're getting more air and, and water into the soil we're creating all these you know, root channels that uh, then the, the soybean plants if, if that's what they choose to, to plant out here will uh, be able to just easily get their way into the surf, uh, into the soil. Um, you know, the, these cover crop plants, particularly these roots right here, um, they're they're breaking up compaction that may be down, you know, six, eight inches. And so, um, you know, just a lot of benefits to uh, having cover crops on the land. And so, again, wanted to provide an update here um, just outside of uh, Lewiston, Minnesota. So, Thanks for joining us. If you like our videos, uh, give us a thumbs up. And uh, lastly, friends, choose to make it a great day.